Levi Strauss was born on February 26, 1829, in Bavaria, Germany. At 18 years old, two years after his father died from tuberculosis, Levi and his sisters immigrated to New York, where they were met by his two older brothers, who owned a wholesale dry goods business called J. Strauss Brother and Company. Levi quickly learned the trade for himself. The California Gold Rush of 1849 led Levi out west to seek his fortune in 1853. He headed to San Francisco to sell goods to the thriving mining trade, running his own wholesale dry goods company as well as acting as an agent for his brother's West Coast company. Levi named his company Levi Strauss and Company. A tailor from Reno named Jacob Davis wrote Levi a letter in 1872. Davis shared that he constructed pants for his customers in a unique way by using rivets at stress points to extend the life of the pants. Davis wanted to patent his idea, but he needed a business partner to help him get started. The concept certainly interested Levi, and together they filed for a patent for what was to become blue jeans. On May 20th, 1873, the patent was awarded to Jacob Davis and Levi Strauss and Company, and soon after, the first pair of riveted denim waist overalls were sold. The durable pants became popular in a very short time, leading Strauss to open his own factories, which in turn made him a very wealthy man. The instantly recognizable two-horse trademark, which shows two horses trying to pull apart a pair of Levi's, was introduced in 1886. The patch symbolized the strength of the clothing, and have been sewn on the back of Levi's ever since. Levi Strauss died at the age of 73 on September 26, 1902, at his home in San Francisco. Following his death, his nephew Jacob Stern took over as company president. Over the next couple decades, Levi's were primarily worn for work. Cowboys and railroad workers wore them for many years before they became a fashion statement. In 1922, Levi's added belt loops to their waist overalls, but they left the suspender buttons. The addition of belt loops was in response to changes in how men wore their pants as they transitioned away from suspenders. In the 1930s, Levi Strauss and Company introduced their first pair of Levi's for women. After years of borrowing them from their husbands or brothers, women had their very own pair of Lady Levi's. Independent-minded Western women and others who first wore the pants were doing so despite it being unacceptable, and it would take a couple more decades for it to become mainstream. After years of copycat competitors, Levi's felt a need to differentiate themselves again. So in 1936, they placed a folded red fabric ribbon in the seam of a back pocket on the 501 line of pants, and the Levi's red tab was born. Later, they would also use other colored tabs for various other cuts of jeans. Speaking of 501s, the numbering system of Levi's was done to separate different styles of pants from one another. They were basically lot numbers assigned during manufacturing, and the 501 was used to designate the famous copper riveted original waist overalls.
During the 1950s, Levi's were being worn by greasers and beatniks alike. The denim waist overalls that everyone was wearing were being called jeans by most teenagers. So by 1960, the word overalls was replaced by the word jeans in all Levi's advertising and packaging. Levi Strauss experienced significant growth during the 1960s as the casual look of the time ushered in a blue jean craze. This was also the time that Levi Strauss and company expanded to Europe and Asia, opening new offices and factories. Growth, however, began to slow during the 70s, 80s, and 90s, with competition from other jean companies, changing fashion tastes, and some bad press, Levi's saw closures of many manufacturing facilities around the world. In 1986, Levi's introduced the casual work pants called Dockers, which took off and helped the company grow despite denim sales dipping. The popularity of Levi's jeans has endured for over a hundred years. People from all walks of life wear them from celebrities to scientists. Over the last two decades, Levi Strauss and Company has responded to real-world issues and have adjusted manufacturing processes accordingly. From using safer chemicals to conserving water, Levi's has continued to strive to be a leader in sustainable manufacturing. Levi's blue jeans are recognizable worldwide. Today, the legendary company that was founded nearly 170 years ago remains one of the nation's leading apparel manufacturers. Their jeans are beloved, and the company is quintessentially American. It is pretty amazing how Levi's have endured, despite the changes in fashions through the decades. Men and women, young and old, from around the world still love their Levi's and this doesn't seem to be changing anytime soon.